Speech, not demonstrating. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. This is a private event, though. No, it's public. It's open to the public. You're not restricting the public from coming in. I don't understand. We got one coming now. We got one coming. Okay. Hey, John, let's just wait for the supervisor and we'll talk to him, okay? We appreciate your cooperation. Yeah. Expected at a big event like this. Uh, you kind of expect that at a big event like this. They just don't want us here. That's all there is to it. It's not a private event, it's a public event. They're not restricting access. They just don't want us here. They want to have fun. What's the first thing this guy said to you when he came up to you? That guy? Yeah. He said, you can't do this here. Uh, and, I was, and I was like, well, he started talking to me and he said, you can't do this here. And I was like, well, yes I can. And he started saying something. I said, like, well, I don't need to talk to you. If you have a complaint, you can talk to the police. And then he called him over. Uh, which one's the, which one's the guy supervisor? You, you, can, you can talk to me. Okay. Hey, I'm Lieutenant Lewis. Hi. Sorry, I got this. Hey, good to meet you, dude. Uh, what's, what seems to be the problem? Oh, well, well, a guy came up, one of the security told us we have to leave this area, we have to go out of this area to preach, okay. and uh, we told him we're not demonstrating, we're just preaching, okay. this is a public party, everyone's welcome to come in all they want, this is Bible, you know, on, on our signs here, and, um, you know, since the public are allowed in here, we're part of the public, we're here to exercise our freedom of religion and freedom of speech in this public area, and we only, we only preached maybe like three or four minutes before we came over. Right. And the people that have that permit are 
according to the laws when someone has a permit for an area that's usually public it doesn't change that area to private unless they're charging admission or they're keeping people from entering in otherwise kicking us out just because we have these on and just because we're preaching it's prejudicial and it's, it's coming into our free religion and freedom of speech here's what i do i'll get a ruling on it just a second from the administration but for now what i need to do is step outside the gate for just a second Get back to you in less than five minutes and let you know. How about a, a ruling from who? What? From who? Who, who are you getting a ruling from? From our department. Oh, I'll, um, I'll get our department to say, yeah, you're nice. They say, yeah. Okay, with me. I don't have a problem with this. Well, but he, okay, well, we appreciate that. But the, but the problem, if they come back and say, nay, this is still public property, we still have a right to be here. Right, but, be, but being, like I said before, being permanent doesn't change it from public to private. No, no, the Supreme Court is ruling that, sir. You're wrong. It doesn't matter. We're not going to argue that right now. I'll get a ruling real quick. Sure. I'll let you know you're right. you know. Right, for yourself for now. Just step on the sidewalk. Can we, can we step over here? This way? Oh, okay. Okay. Their ruling doesn't matter. The law matters. Right. That's what matters. That's what, what does the law say? That's what I was getting so, to. So if you're waiting for a ruling, that means the ruler is giving the decision, not the law itself. Right. Let's go to the law books. Right. Not some ruler up in an office somewhere. Let's go to the law uh, books. What we're probably going to do here is they right tell us to leave. We're going to have to ask them what will be the charge if we don't right. leave. Right. Yeah. Will we be arrested? So, so are you telling me that if I don't leave, you're going to arrest me? If you're going to arrest me, what will the charges be? You need to ask your names. Yeah. Well, I got Lieutenant Lewis. Uh, the other, one of the first guys to know is Edwards. Uh, this regular officer, Edwards. And uh, those are the only names I've gotten so far. But I really don't want to get out of here, man. It's discrimination. It really is. It's prejudice. For, for him to kick us out because we have these on, and that's the reason. Well, he's they haven't even given us a reason why. It's just been because they have control of this area and they can take out whoever they want. The permit doesn't deny our constitutional rights on this public street. Right. Yes. I just talked to our legal advisor. He says we're good to go. Okay. Under these conditions. Okay. The area that's around the space is actually out of the limits of the public. Don't go in that area. Oh, we're not planning. Right. 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 We're not planning. 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 we are not planning 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 we are not planning
Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Accept the love of God. I'm just asking. Accept the love of God. Don't bump on him again, okay? I didn't bump him. He bumped into oh, no, me. You, first don't, of all. don't touch my camera. Don't don't touch my camera, sir. Don't film that. I've asked him to stop. Can you ask him to stop? Not gonna stop. It's freedom of religion, freedom of speech. I understand that, but that is annoying to people. The sound. Walk away. That sounds horrible. I don't care. You're here to hear that. I want to hear it. Well, look, you can walk away, sir. The freedom of speech is for us. Protect the speech. I understand that, and I don't have a problem with that. These people are telling me that they don't want him close. So if you back up, that's all. Back up. I can go hear him at all. Don't, don't touch my camera. I, I can put my hand where I want to. You don't have to film. First of all, you're in my personal space. Please back up. A I'm not bit. in your personal space. Yeah, you are. You're in mine. I've asked you. I've asked you to step back. No, I don't have I've to step back. This, this, is, like, this isn't your personal space right here. We've already talked to the cops, sir, so call them if you want. What's that? Tell he tells me you can be in here. He's already told us we can be here, sir. He's my boss. So chill out. I'm not, I'm not excited. You're the one excited, sir. Not me. Don't run your mouth because I'll make sure you get out of here. Okay? What was that? I'm not upset. What was I that? Upset. I, didn't hear, I didn't hear what you said. Okay. What, what did you say? He said if he's going to push you out of here. I said chill out or you will be moving after I tell him that. I'm, not, I'm chilled out, sir. Okay, then leave it alone. He's got issues. Boy, you said get out. Right, you didn't say get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They accused me of getting excited. When they make the decision, they put it out. Hey, there's three crazy preachers. Leave them alone. Right. Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says. That's 1 John 1, verses 5 through 
seven. Cloud doesn't clear. You must walk the light of obedience to God, of holiness, to be a Christian. You can't just claim to be a Christian by your mouth and live a life of wickedness. Jesus talked about some of the person in Matthew 15.
live in what the Bible says. And that's what every Bible preacher should do. Amen. To preach the Word of God. I have to be declared God's judgment for you. The Bible makes it clear there will be a judgment day. Hallelujah! You're running right a breath center. Hallelujah! You're a mocker. Yeah. Your hallelujahs are ringing your ears in hell for all eternity. Your hallelujahs are ringing through your ears for all eternity in hell. Oh, you probably love your 
your sin, so I have to, you have the right to listen to me. Says, if you then, love your sin... Because I'm down here, I'm sinning. That's I didn't say I said if. I said you probably love your sin, therefore I can't give you a reason to listen to me. If you love your sin, there is no reason. You're gone, you're you're going to hell. I haven't changed this other one, but I answered your question. If you love your sin, you have no reason to listen to me because you're going to go to hell. You're Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Because you're making yourself more accountable. So you're saying I love my sin. If you're sinning, there's nothing happy about it. I am. Yes. Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 
nine attempts. No, you do not. Do you not know? Do not know. Oh, I want to read to you. You're not deceived. Yeah. Thank you. Do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. So the people at the church of Corinth, the people at the church of Corinth used to be those things. When they turned to them, if they would have stayed in it like you are right now, they would go to hell. They would not turn to them. Romans 1 says you're vile, you're shameful, you're unnatural. You're doing what's against your nature. You're perverting your nature. And Leviticus says it's an abomination to God. So in the tournament, God did not make you to be a homosexual. God did not make you with a penis to put into the man's anus. Uh, God made male for female. Not male for male. Not female for female. Male for female. You can't even procreate if you stay homosexual. You can't even reproduce. You're going to die off. The homosexual race will die off unless they continue to evangelize through other means. But yeah, homosexuality is a sin. It's vile, it's shameful, it's unnatural, it's a perversion of your nature, and God, God commands you to turn from it. God commands you to repent. God commands you to stop being a homosexual. Such a thing. God commands you to stop being a homosexual, to turn from your sins, and trust in Jesus. Now God can change you. God can give you forgiveness of sins. God can even save a homosexual. You're not beyond saving. You're not beyond forgiveness. You're not beyond pardon. God can forgive you. God can save you. God can cleanse you. But you must decide to stop your sinning and turn to your sins and trust in Jesus Christ. You're a Christian, and you're asking me why I think I should tell everybody? Have you ever heard of the Great Commission? To go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation? Have you ever heard of that before? You claim to be a Christian, you've never heard of the Great Commission? Well, then why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? You paralyze people for being Christian. That's I don't right. think you're a Christian, sir. Hey, I don't think you are a Christian. That's right. Yeah, I don't think he's a Christian. A Christian would never ask a silly question. A Christian would never ask a silly question. How can they believe in one that heard? How can they hear without a preacher? If you're a Christian, you're a preacher. If you're a Christian, you preach the gospel. You're not a preacher. If you're not preaching the gospel, guess what? You're not obeying God. Oh yeah. No, you're going to all every preacher. Preach. Not going to all the world and get drunk. Not going to all the world and get drunk. Not going to all the world and put teeth in your mouth. Not going to all the world and be a, uh, a fornicator. Go into all the world and preach the gospel of creation. Yeah, I'm still a judge. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, you are going to judge? Yeah. yeah. You know, the only people who don't like judging are sinners. The only people who don't like judging Judgment Day. are criminals. God and Jesus Christ. Are criminals. Jesus Christ. Criminals in God's eyes hate judging. But those who are innocent, those who are living for Jesus Christ, their whole hearts, you know, judgment doesn't bother them because they have nothing to be judged. They're forgiven of their past sins. They're cleansed of their past sins. And they're living for Jesus Christ. They have no reason to fear judgment. Because perfect love cast out all fear, the Bible says. Because fear has to do with judgment. If you have fear of judgment, then you don't know God. If you have fear of judgment, you have not been perfected in love. If you have fear of judgment, you're not a Christian. Christians don't fear judgment. They have a, a propitiation. They have a mediator between them and God, Jesus Christ. They're cleansed of their sins. They're forgiven of their sins. But someone isn't a Christian just because they say they are. Someone's a Christian because they prove to be one by the way they live their life. If they're living in Jesus, I am, yes. In Jesus, I am. I'm on that list. No. I had that list for a very long time. I plan on it. I plan on it. Yeah, I plan on it. You don't plan on it. You're playing the sin. 